Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Ferrara. I'm a customer engineer for the Google Maps platform at Dido, who has been a Google Premier partner for over 15 years. We will be discussing the Google Address Validation API and how it can be used in conjunction with other Google Maps services to improve the process of entering and evaluating addresses, which is a crucial for a number of scenarios. From checkout to delivery, there has never been more ways to connect customers with the products they want most, and the customer journey has never been more complex. Whether it's reducing friction in the user experience to ensuring a package lands on the right doorstep, it can be easier to get it wrong than it is to get it right. One example of this is online checkout. A key area of focus for any e-commerce platform is trying to reduce shopping cart abandonment. In fact, 70% of all online shopping carts are abandoned with the inefficient and complex process cited as, cited as a leading reason, putting serious pressure on the user experience. If having an effective checkout process can reduce abandonment rates by only a few percent, that translates to a lot of additional revenue. Furthermore, even if a customer completes the checkout process, Approximately 9% of online orders contain typos or misspellings in the shipping address. Errors of just a few characters can be very difficult to spot when a, user when a user or customer is reviewing their order details as well. Typically, these errors involved an incorrectly spelled city name, street name, or a wrong house number, and the majority are completely preventable if an address validator is in place. These incorrect addresses lead to as many as 5 to 10% of all last mile deliveries failing, resulting in costly customer support cases, as well as unsatisfied customers. At the heart of all these issues is a single, often overlooked challenge, entering an address. Simply put, a lot depends on getting addresses right. It is a direct input impact on the experience of customers, their lifetime value, the efficiency of your operation, and can even affect your brand's reputation. For starters, address entry represents a significant portion of sign-up and checkout friction. Address entry is slow and error-prone, and mobile devices have only made the problem worse. So it's no surprise that as so many shopping carts are abandoned before a checkout can be completed. Even more significant is the impact of invalid addresses on failed and delayed deliveries, which contribute to diminished customer satisfaction, lost revenue, and the resulting expenses of an increased customer support burden. Another area where address validation is critical is making the already difficult and complex task of fraud detection even more complicated, leading to costly issues downstream many of which can be avoided if invalid addresses were caught up front. In other words, when an address is incorrect, it's often discovered too late, so issues can become inevitable. With all these problems in mind, let's take a look at the Google Maps Platform Address Validation API and how it can help prevent issues before they occur. So what does the address validation API actually do and how does it work? Well, first the API will take a structured or unstructured address and break it into its various components such as street number, street name, city, town, state, and zip code. Next, it fixes common errors like misspelled street names. It will also infer any missing data or components and will format the address in a standardized way. Then, it validates the address inputted as an existing address based on a variety of data sources, including postal service data, to ensure it's a real-world location. Finally, it verifies whether the, whether the address is complete and flags any necessary components that are missing. Importantly, this includes whether a subpremise, such as an apartment number, was expected but not included. It also augments the address with additional data, such as geocode and USPS data. We'll take a look at a couple of examples of how it handles addresses in just a few minutes. The Address Validation API is USPS CAS certified, which indicates that technology has higher accuracy and can achieve higher quality address processing. 
As previously mentioned, this also enables the service to support subpremise validation, which is needed for billing purposes and extremely useful for an efficient and accurate delivery process. It is also able to provide additional information about a location, such as whether it is a commercial or residential location. Currently, the API provides support in 35 countries, with more countries continuing to be added. Google is actively working on postal certifications for areas outside the US as well. Companies have used the Google Maps platform for many years to localize users with the geocoding API but there are limitations in the geocoding API's ability to do so, and address validation was not the primary design intent. Geocoding focuses on identifying a real-world location based, on a, based off a given input, but in doing so, may identify a location that is different than the input address or omit certain parts of the input address. Address validation focuses on the input address and goes much deeper by including component level validation checks and adding support for sub-premises. It also enables you to provide feedback to your users on how to correct an invalid address. For an example, given an address like 123 Fake Street, Mountain View, California, the geocoding API would simply return a geocode for the city of Mountain View, California and ignore the 123 Fake Street since there is no such street or similarly named street in Mountain View. The address validation API, on the other hand, is able to identify that 123 is a street number, fake street is a street, and returns a result that contains those components and flags them as unconfirmed, giving you a signal about why the address may be failing to geocode. So now let's briefly look at a couple of demos that demonstrate how the API handles different scenarios and the type of information returned by the API. So if we take that address we were just looking at, 123, 123 Fake Street, Mountain, through Mountain View, California, and attempt to validate it, we'll see that the API provides a number of pieces of information. First, it's gonna provide you the granularity of what the input address was. In this case, it was a premise. However, since it wasn't able to identify the location, it's validated at a level of other as well as geocoded at a level of other. As part of the verdict, it also indicates that at least one address element is unresolved, unexpected, or missing, and the API can't confirm at least one address component. Scrolling down a little bit, we see that it's broken down the various components of the address and attempted to confirm them individually. In the case of Mount, the locality, it has been able to confirm Mountain View as the, as the city, California as the state, and the United States as the country. However, it was not able to confirm 123 as a street number or fake street as a route. However, since 123 takes the form of a street number and fake street takes the form of a route, it flags them as plausible. Finally, it says that it's also missing some information, in this case, a postal code. As we mentioned, the address validation also provides geocoding. In this case, it was able to geocode it to Mountain View, but not the exact location. Looking at the USPS data returned, um, it is shown to be unknown and therefore not a deliverable location. Let's take a look at another example now. And we'll use one of the default ones provided by the demo, but we're going to adjust it so that one of the components is misspelled to see how it handles this sort of scenario. Again, it's able to provide the granularity. And in this case, it was, the premise is what was entered it was validated at the premise level as well as geocoded at the premise level. However, we're still missing um, at least one address component. Looking at the address components individually, we see that each of those that were provided have been confirmed. In the case of the locality of Austin, it was able to automatically spell correct it. It was also able to infer uh, the postal code of the location, and it flags those so that you can know when a component has been corrected or inferred. It specifies that it was expecting a sub-premise and that was not provided, however. 
In the United States, at least, it also provides additional information, such as whether it's a business, a PO box, or a residential address. Looking at the USPS data, it also shows that it's incomplete because of a missing unit or apartment number. So let's go back and add that in. Now we see the address entered as a subpremise. It's been validated as a subpremise as well as geocoded at a subpremise. And there's no more flags on missing or unresolved components. And the subpremise has been added and confirmed to the list of components. Scrolling down to the USPS data, we now see that it's a confirmed deliverable location. If you'd like to test out this demo for yourself, you can find it at the Google Maps platform developer documentation, so you can try it on your own addresses to see how it handles those scenarios. So hopefully it's starting to become clear how including address validation translates into a faster, more confident user experience by identifying specific address entry errors and supplementing addresses with missing info, helping the user make any needed adjustments before submission and providing verification of the final address. Now let's take a look at how the Address Validation API can be paired with other Google Maps platform services, specifically Autocomplete, to provide a complete user experience and further reduce the chance of an incorrect or incomplete address being entered. Autocomplete gives suggestions to the customer as they enter their address details. Autocomplete can simplify address entry in your application, leading to higher conversion rates and a seamless experience for your customers. It provides a single quick entry field with type ahead address prediction that can be used to automatically populate a billing or shipping address form. By incorporating autocomplete into your online shopping cart, you can significantly reduce keystrokes in the total time required to place an order, as well as reduce address entry errors, leading to reduced cart abandonment by minimizing friction during checkout, as well as simplifying the address entry experience on mobile or wearable devices. Here is a sample architecture of how these pieces are leveraged in a typical e-commerce checkout scenario. The place autocomplete service should be implemented on the first line of the address entry form, giving suggestions to the customer as they enter their address details. After the user selects a location, the address validation API is called to confirm that the address is valid and complete. If the address is invalid, you can provide the Google suggested address to the user and flag any missing or unconfirmed address components. If the address is confirmed to be valid and in a deliverable location, further user confirmation can be accomplished by presenting the location on the map to the user. Finally, now that you know why validating addresses is so critical, I'd like to close with a word on why Google is uniquely positioned to deliver this service. The Address Validation API is built on the data and infrastructure of the Google Maps platform and leverages the scale, speed, flexibility, and coverage you've come to expect from Google Maps. That means the global coverage you need to reach your users wherever you are, as well as scalable, reliable, high-performance infrastructure that scales with you. It also provides rich, dynamic data in the form of 250 million daily updates across 200 million businesses and places in over 200 countries. Finally, it provides a familiar experience to your customers when they already know, regardless of the platform they are using. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time and your interest in the Address Validation API and the Google Maps platform.